In this video, I'm gonna show you how to automatically check probability levels before opening new positions. This is a great decision recipe and an important filter that you could use inside of your automations that give the bot the ability to check probability levels before submitting the order to open a position. So let's assume in this demo scanner automation that you have your symbol loop in place. You're gonna be looping through a mini watch list or ticker symbol list of potential trading symbols. Now you want to open a new position. Now the first way to do this, and this is the way I always do it here, is to first add your open position action. You wanna tell the bot exactly what position you ultimately wanna get into. And you wanna give the bot all of the criteria for expiration and strikes and leg selection right here in this open position action. So we're gonna set this up first by connecting our symbol to the symbol loop. Using this custom input, it allows us to check each position independently or each symbol independently for all of the criteria that we're looking for. Next, we can set our expiration and our leg strikes. Here, we'll just keep it as 30 days or closest to 30 day expiration. We'll keep our short put strike at a 30 delta, but we'll change up our long put leg to be just a dollar underneath of our short put leg. So in this case, we're gonna do $1 below our short put leg. So we just change these variable fields here. And notice we can also specify if we want it to be closest, higher, exactly, or lower than the original strike that we're keying this off of. In this case, we want it to be exactly $1 below. So if it's not exactly $1 below because we want a $1 wide spread, then go ahead and not enter the position. Once we're good to go here, we can simply hit save. Now that we have our new open position action created, we can save this to our automation editor. Now the reason we do this first, or the reason I like to do this first, is because it gives the bot all of the available information for what position we eventually want to get into. Now what I like to do is I like to proceed this decision with some additional filters. And this is where we can check the probability level of this upcoming potential trade. Now here we're gonna add a new decision and then go ahead and go down to the opportunity section of our decisions. This opportunity section tells us that we can check potential trading opportunities for many different market criteria or different data points like rate of return, the bid ask spread, and a number of other things. One of the things that we can check in here is the chance of profit. We can actually select the opportunity and then check and see if the probability of a profit on the trade is greater than some amount that we set. Now here we can just select the recent opportunity that we created. And because we created that open position action first, the bots are smart enough to recognize that you are trying to potentially get into this position. So you can create a new one or just use that recent one that we've already created. This is our symbol that we connected, 30 days to expiration, the short strike at a 30 delta, and the long put $1 below the short put leg exactly. Once we're good to go with this potential trading opportunity, we just go ahead and save. So now the bot's gonna pull in the information for that potential trading opportunity. Again, completely automated in a fraction of a second when the automation runs. And it's gonna check the chance of profit on that trade, taking into account the delta and the credit that you might take in and the expiration and all of those things and checking to see if the potential chance or probability of profit on the trade is more than, in this case, we'll just use some round number like 70%. So if the probability or the chance of profit on the trade is more than 70%, then we want the bot to go ahead and try to open the position. So in this case, we can simply save and add this to the yes path. So think about this for a second as we're walking through this the bot is going to run our scanner automation. It's gonna loop through each of these symbols that we've put in our symbol loop. For each of those symbols, it's gonna check and see if it has a 30 day to expiration, 30 delta, $1 below, long put leg, with a chance of profit more than 70%. And if it does have a chance of profit more than 70%, then go ahead and open the position. Submit the order to the broker and try to get into the position. Now this is super cool because again, you can take all of this manual tedious processing that you might usually do inside of your trading platform 
and let the bots do this for you. And in many cases, many people are not even checking this anyway, so it's gonna be doing something that you weren't checking for and using automation as a tool to help you find better trades. We can even test this right here inside the automation. We can run a test inside of our demo bot and go ahead and see if any of the symbols that we're looping through would have met this criteria. So the first one that we're looping through here is SPY. Notice that the chance of profit on that position is not above 70%. Now, how cool is this? It's actually checking to see if that SPY position that expires on February 4th with these exact strikes, which is exactly what we told it to do, has a chance of profit more than 70%. Right now, the chance of profit on that particular short put spread is just 66.53%. So the bot would not continue down the next path to open the position. And it would continue to check this position using the scanner automation over and over again through the trading days and weeks until it has a 70% chance of profit. And only when that's true would it continue down the yes path. Notice we can check the other ones like FXI and GLD. Inside of GLD, you'll notice that it did go ahead and clear the yes decision here. We can get some more information here and you can see that the short put spread in GLD that expires on February 4th, the negative 166 and the positive 165, again, exactly a dollar difference, which is what we told it to check, has a chance of profit that's 73.8%. In this case, it would have allowed the bot to continue down that path and open the position. We can check that final one here with the EFA and you'll notice that in this case, it didn't continue down the yes path. Now this is great because this tells us that the bot would do exactly what we wanted it to do. Check a list of symbols inside of our symbol loop here and only enter new short put spread positions for ones that had a probability of profit over 70%. This allows us to do all of the offloading to the bot and let the bot make perfect decisions for us as it runs through its automations. So if we turn on this automation, then this is what we would expect the bot to do. Again, this is just a test of how the decision would perform if you turned it on. But you can test this logic right here inside of your bots before turning on your automations. So this is a really cool, again, example of how you can automatically check probabilities before submitting new orders to your broker. This ensures that you're only making high probability trades if that is part of your trading strategy. And it ensures that the bot doesn't send any orders if the probability of profit is less than your threshold you set.